So far this year, we have uh, made a squirrel nut bar where uh, we determined what kind of food a squirrel likes best. Um, there was also some squirrel bar fights included in there, uh, kind of just like a normal human bar. Uh, we've determined how high a squirrel can jump vertically. Uh, we used that data with data from videos in the past to show you how to set up an, an, an almost perfect squirrel-proof bird feeder. And uh, last thing we did was uh, take water balloons, hang them from the tree, rub peanut butter and sunflower seeds on them, and colored water explodes on the squirrel's heads. Functionality of that is absolutely nothing but entertaining. So we've done that in the past before and uh, turned out good, so we, we tried it again. This time, what we're gonna do is tinker with bird feeders, a raised bird feeder, and slinkies. So I bought a slinky from Amazon and it turns out it was a pack of five. So I'm gonna take a slinky and a raised bird feeder and see if I can't just use this to keep the squirrel out of the bird feeder. And I may have to get a little bit creative with it, but let's see what happens. Hope y'all enjoy. bird feeder slinky that's got to be fun to watch let's find out Well, that was pretty fun to watch. What we did find is that whenever they jumped on the slinky, the slinky bottomed out before it was uh, fully stretched out. So what I'm gonna do is try to, try to extend, I'm gonna raise the feeder as high as it'll go and try to extend the slinky so that they fall even further to the limit of the slinky. So uh, let's try that and see what happens. I have several other ideas that we'll get to later, but uh, one step at a time. Okay, so I raised it up about two feet and let's see. Eh, it's still gonna go all the way down, but it's a little bit further fall. Might have to raise it up some more, but let's see how that goes. Okay, so they they were able to, to, to hang on to the to the dow, wooden dowel rod when they got up to the spring and 
and climb up. So we just replaced that with a little piece of PVC and that ought to prevent them from hanging on. So they ought to have to ride that, that spring all the way down, that uh, slinky all the way down. So we'll see if that makes any difference. Still fun to watch. Okay, so as of right now, I am 0 for 3. They really didn't have too much trouble with this. Uh, what's happening is they're getting kind of a run and start, and they're shimmying up the, the slinky pretty quick so they don't have to deal with it completely. So uh, I'm going to try not to go 0 for 4. So I'm going to extend the PVC all the way down to hopefully keep them from getting the run and start. I have a total of five slinkies. I'm going to try to use every one of them. I'm not sure how or where, but I'm going to get it done. And I also spent way longer than I probably should have making this little oak contraption uh, in, my, in my shop on my lathe and uh, made it as light as possible. And I'm going to incorporate this some kind of way. Don't know what it's going to look like yet, but uh, I'm going to work on that. Be right back with you all here shortly. All right, y'all. Here's what I came up with. I used four out of my five slinkies, mounted them to the bottom of the feeder, and the main slinky is still there, but there I mounted my my little my little wooden thingy. So ideal be in is that they slowly shimmy up the PVC, they hit the wooden the wooden sleeve, let's call it, and drops them like a sack of taters. So uh, I tried just a single. Uh, slinky and even though that wooden thing is only two ounces 2.4 ounces it bottomed out the slinky so I had to add a little resistance to it and it took three other slinkies to uh, to make it act right so I have no earthly idea whether this is gonna work or not but it's gonna be fun all right let's see what happens Well, this little contraption seems to be working. Uh, nothing has got past it yet. Uh, they try every day, multiple times, and they just can't seem to figure it out. It's been up now for two weeks, so, man, I'm gonna call this a success. It might not be very pretty, but the general concept works, and one day I may tinker with it and try to simplify it, but uh, it seems to do the trick. All right, so uh, I'm gonna roll some footage of some squirrel fights that happened around, you know, around this thing. And uh, one in particular is going to be the first. It's the, 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 the best squirrel fight I've ever seen. So uh, it, was, it was neat. Uh, after that, I'm just going to roll some B footage of, you know, stuff that just wasn't quite good enough to make, uh, you know, to make the main video. If, if you stick around for all that, um, you may need some help. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to stick it in there just for the special people. All right. Thanks for watching. Take care.